हेलो एवरीवन रवनीत भला वेलकम्स यू बैक टू हर चैनल हैव यू एवर ट्राइड मेकिंग बिग आटा मटरी एट होम आई हैव डन इट ऑन सेवरल ओकेजन्स एंड गोड एक्सलेंट रिजल्ट्स ईच टाइम बट दिस टाइम आई वेरिड दी बेक्ड मटरी रेसिपी अबिट एंड ट्राइड डूइंग एन उड़िया नीम की रेसिपी द रिजल्ट इज फुल ऑफ फ्लेवर्स विथ सॉल्ट एंड ब्लैक पेपर बैलेंसिंग द फ्लेवर एंड टेस्ट प्रोफाइल so without much ado let's get into the baking of matri in air fryer for this recipe of baked crispy samosa matri you need 1 cup of whole wheat flour 1/2 teaspoon of salt 1/2 teaspoon of red pepper flakes 1 teaspoon of black pepper cones i chose to pulse them coarsely in the mortar and pestle and 1/2 teaspoon of jeera or cumin as well and pulse You may do so in the grinder jar as well, but I want it to keep black pepper cones slightly coarse. Mix with flour. Start adding the fat. Add two tablespoons of mustard oil to whole wheat flour. If you do not like to use mustard oil, please use ghee or oil of choice. Rub the fat into the flour until it resembles bread crumbs. Our aim is to ensure that the mixture retains its shape in our fist. If it looks dry please add half tablespoon extra of fat rub again please add kasuri methi if you like the flavor i do so i rubbed it with palms and added i always rub all of the spices with my palms that enhances the flavor so that's a tip for you now let's knead the matri dough with water I have added 1 tablespoon of water at a time and kneaded 3 to 4 tablespoon of it in total. The amount of water might vary from the type of brand you are using. You may need 3 or 4 tablespoon of water to knead a semi soft dough. Should be a little tighter than roti dough. So it will be best to keep it to 3 tablespoon. of water but if your dough feels dry please add an extra tablespoon rest the dough for 30 minutes in a separate bowl mix 1 tablespoon of besan with 1/2 tablespoon of water mix well into paste keep aside preheat the oven air fryer ott convection to 160 degrees celsius for 10 minutes you can preheat the air fryer for only 5 minutes knead the dough for 1 to 2 minutes Take small sized balls of the dough and roll them out into thin chapatis. Apply the besan paste on one roti and then place the other roti over it. Apply the besan paste on the roti and again place another roti. Repeat the process until you are done with all the chapatis. When you reach the last roti, place it over the besan paste and start rolling all rotis together. So we'll be making one big chapati here. We want to flatten out all of the rotis together, but we want to retain the layers or the flakiness. So that is why this step is important. Do not press too hard, but roll them out as much as possible. fold from one side until it meets the next end cut with a knife take one piece and roll out with a rolling pin again Now make a triangle and flatten gently with the rolling pin just like a samosa. Repeat with all the pieces. Bake the atta matri samosa at 160 degrees Celsius for 14 to 16 minutes. 160 degrees for 15 minutes check if done all the samosas should cool down 
before you store them in an airtight jar or container your crispy crunchy samosa matri with whole wheat flour are ready the baked samosa matri makes a healthy snack recipe for indians fond of samosas and matris enjoy stay blessed stay safe until next time take care bye bye see you soon